What's going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at Fightcade 2. Uh, this is the successor to the original Fightcade and a lot has been changed. The user interface is completely different and you can actually play a lot more games now. You can play games from not only arcades but also from consoles so anything like Super Nintendo, Genesis, even Game Gear and other systems. Um, so before we get started, the first thing you have to do is you have to make sure you have an account. And to do that, you want to go to fightcade.com and you want to go to register. And right here, you can make a username, a password, etc. Once you have that, you can go ahead and use Fightcade. Now, if you already have an account from Fightcade 1, you can use it on Fightcade 2. And needless to say, to use this system, you need an internet connection. Now this video is going to be catered mostly towards people that have my systems, my hyperspin systems. But if you're watching and you're just a casual uh, viewer and you want to just learn about Fightcade, I think you'll get some things out of this video as well. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and start up hyperspin here. Skip the intro. And here you have Fightcade. Now, when you start up Fightcade, let me go ahead and do that right now. You're going to get this screen here that asks you to log in. Again, you need to have created a login already at their website. Now, after the first time that you log in, it's not going to ask you for this again. It'll just log in automatically from here on forward. So let me go ahead and log in. Okay, now we're all logged in. Now, just to show you, I'm going to log out and I'm going to log back and I'm going to start it again so that you can see that it just goes straight in the next time. So here we go. All right, there you go. Now, like I said, there are a lot more games here. There's thousands and thousands, thousands of games. So the controls are not going to be configured for every game actually at all. I'm not going to bother going through and configuring controls for 7,000 games. All right. So what you have to do whenever you want to play a game, first of all, let me get rid of these over here because these are ones that I already added. But this is these are basically channels or like chat rooms, whatever you want to think of them as. Right. So what you want to do is you want to go over here to the plus sign. And then it's going to present you with all the available games that you can play. You can search by name. You can scroll through uh, next page, whatever you want to do. Uh, find what you want to play. And then the first thing we're going to do is we're going to configure the controls. So let's say we want to play Super Street Fighter 2. You put your mouse over like this and you click join. Okay. Now you can see that it shows up over here on the left. And by the way, this is a very keyboard and mouse centric uh, user interface, right? So don't expect to use your, your, um, like an arcade stick to be able to like scroll through all of this. If you have a trackball, you're set because a trackball is just a mouse. So use your trackball and your, and your mouse click buttons. If you have an Xbox controller, I made it so that the right joystick it acts as a mouse and your left trigger is left click. Your right trigger is right click. And if you hold back, and press the left trigger, it's going to send the equivalent of Alt Enter, which means full screen to make the, the window full screen. And I'll show you that in a minute. If you have a, you know, anything like an arcade based uh, controller, like a tank stick, extension, iPad, etc., I made it so that if you hold down player one start and then you hit the joystick to the right, that also sends Alt Enter, which will make the game full screen. Again, I'm going to show you guys what I mean in a second. But now that we added a game over here, we can go ahead and click on it. And it brings us into the channel of that game. As you can see here, you can chat with people. So obviously you need a keyboard for that. And then over here on the right, it shows you everybody who's online. Up here is people looking to play. Here are people that are playing. And here are people that are not available. Okay, so... Um, Basically, what you do at this point is you either hang around here chatting or whatever, wait for someone to challenge you. You'll see a notification in this area and you can click accept and then the game will pop up and you can play with them. 
um, or over here you can go to someone that's looking to play you can either double click them or right click them and click on challenge and if they accept the game will start all right but before you do that again as I mentioned before the controllers are not going to be configured so all you do is you go to test game up here and you're going to see that the game pops up and by the way if you if the game ever doesn't pop up uh, but you hear like the sound in the background you can just do alt tab and see that'll bring it to the front all right so just keep that in mind now what you want to do here is you want to go to input map game inputs and this is very straightforward so player one coin you double click that and you press whatever you want player one coin to be so on your control panel you press your player one coin button on your xbox you press the back button because that's usually coin now you want to make sure that it reads it as letters and not as joy inputs okay so i'm going to go ahead and press s which on my systems is coin for player one and there it is player one start would be r on my systems there you go arrows are fine for the movement uh weak punch is a that's correct this one is b this one should be c d e and f now i'm doing it with the keyboard i know my layout by heart you guys are just pressing the actual buttons on your control panel so you don't have to know the actual letters um and then if you had a again if you're doing it with a with a xbox controller and you press the button and you get something other than a letter like a joy one something or other just do it again until you have the letter okay so now i have my player one controls configured right here you could obviously do player two as well after you do that you can press ok and now if you test it i'm going to insert credit i'm able to insert credit player one start and i'm able to move around now as you can see it's not full screen this is what i mentioned before the uh, command to make this full screen is alt plus enter on the keyboard or you can go to video toggle full screen mode you can see it went full screen but like i said i made it so that you can press the back button hold the back button on the xbox controller and do the left trigger that'll be the equivalent of alt enter so it'll full screen it or on a control panel you can do hold down player one start and joystick to the right all right now let's say you're done playing or you're done setting up your controls you can press the escape key or your exit key on the uh, on your control panel back plus start on an xbox controller and that'll kick you out of the game now if you wanted to go back to set up the controllers you can do that and then just do test game again or you can just press the alt enter equivalent on whatever controller you're using so back plus left trigger or player one start plus joystick to the right on a control panel and that'll take it out of full screen and you can access the menu again or you again you can just exit it go back to test game again so once you're in here you went to test game and you set up your controllers you're ready to go you can just go over here challenge somebody and look somebody has challenged me so let me show you that real quick i'm going to press accept and then you just wait for it to connect now here we go it happened where i'm hearing the sound but i don't see the screen so just press alt tab and then make sure you select the actual game like that and then you can full screen it there we go now this is not something that usually happens uh it's happening now because i'm screen capturing and i'm booted into windows when you boot into my systems the proper way without having windows in the background it shouldn't when the game launches this shouldn't go to the background like it just did but again if it does just alt tab it and if you hold on alt and you keep tabbing like this you can select different things so just make sure you select the game sorry about all that noise that's just computer freaking out all right so now we're back here as you saw somebody challenge me i hit accept and it booted right into the game now the first time you guys boot the um the first time it, it tries to uh, boot up a game like if someone challenges you or you challenge somebody you're gonna get some firewall prompts just make sure that you click on the check marks and then click allow access uh to any prompt that comes up 
And if you guys want, you actually can also be a spectator of an existing match. So let me show you that real quick. So over here, you have people that are playing. So if you right click, you can spectate and you can actually watch two people fight each other. So again, I'm hearing the sound. I don't see the, the, the video. And so I'm just going to go ahead and alt tab and select the, the game window there and then you're good to go. I'm going to alt enter just to full screen it. And right now you're watching the two people up there. See Kuyokai versus Banshee bot and they're uh, fighting each other. So it's pretty cool because you get to watch other people play against each other. All right, I'm going to press the exit key here, kicks me out. And if you guys were to press the exit key again, it brings you back to hyperspin. Okay, guys, now let's start it again. And like I said, you have a lot more games now, not just arcade games. And uh, let me show you that real quick. Okay, so we're going to go to add over here. And by the way, you can only add like two or three games here, I think. And then it gives you an error. So you have to afterwards, you have to go highlight the game like this and click this little arrow right here. See, it says leave channel and then that'll get it out of here. And then you can go ahead and add more games. So you can only have like two or three at a time over here on the left. All right. So you can see that all of these say arcade, arcade, arcade. But if we look for like Mario, here we go. Super Mario. And that's for the Super Nintendo. Uh, you can look up like Sonic and here we have Mega Drive, which is the Sega Saturn. I'm sorry, the um, Genesis. Um, you have Game Gear right there. So it's pretty cool that you can play all of these games online with other people or against other people. So it's, it's not just fighting games. All right, guys, so that is going to be it for this video. Hopefully that was helpful. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one.